Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Limey, and welcome back to Circadian Dice, where an unspeakable horror lies encased in the ice. Let's go face it, in the frozen horror. <laughs> Start with the cleric, as always. Uh, yeah, so I haven't done this scenario at all, so no idea what I'm getting into. Uh, so this will probably go really terribly. I guess there'll be stuff that freezes us. Seems like a safe bet. Um, but apart from that, got no idea. Oh, I'm allowed to take four relics now. Could I take four relics in the last scenario? I couldn't. Okay, so that's how you know it's getting bad. When you're allowed to take four relics. Uh, all right. Well, we better take uh, better take the glove to give us meditate, so we can uh, get rid of frozen stuff. I guess. Uh, what else would be good with him? Uh, preach. He preaches his ability, but I never really take it. Uh, yeah, I don't really like it. Let's go for, let's go for the stun. Uh, let's go for the heals and let's go for the money. Start with that, see how we get on. For a second, I thought I was gonna fight one enemy there. There's a cosmic horror in wave one, harmless and uncapturable while frozen. Assist. He remains between waves. Oh, interesting. Okay. Got 20 health. 10 attack. And he's frozen for 25 turns and immune to non-piercing damage. Okay. When this cultist deals damage, reduce debuffs by one on all other enemies. Oh, okay, so the cultist is going to wake up the cosmic horror. I should probably make sure that doesn't happen, I think. Feels like a good plan. Um, I'm doing alright, sir. How are you? Getting any better? Could take this face. Not bad, get in there. You put the new Rimworld expansion. <laughs> nice, nice. And spent all night writing a Discord bot instead. <laughs> are you are you gonna do some more streaming soon? Are you are, are you gonna stream the new Rimworld expansion? It's been a while since you streamed anything. I guess maybe uh Maybe not till you're feeling a bit better. Um, this would probably be better. This gives us a shield as well. I uh, tend to be moving house and COVID has changed those plans. Yeah, I'm sure. I am sure. But is this worth picking up for the money? It's a pretty nice money boost. Maybe it is. Uh, and again. And again, if I keep this, I've got enough to get that. No, okay, let's just keep this. Get him for one, and then we'll take this. Uh, that will be... Uh, okay, yeah, so he went down by one because he hit me, and again, because one turn passed. Your ideology means your people are happier when they wear cowboy hats. That, that seems like a, a good, I that seems like a very innocuous ideology for you to have. Oh, 
And they're also happy when they eat humans displaying their skulls on spikes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I take it there's, there's no real point in me uh, getting the expansion right from the beginning, right? They just add some more mechanics, right? So you might as well get to grips with uh, with the basic stuff first before layering in extra stuff. Uh, we could do... Oh no, actually shield bash won't do anything. Or piercing damage. Hmm. Need that. More complexity and mechanics, okay. Deals damage equal to its attack to you when it dies. Ooh, okay. Oh, part of me just wants to keep this gold so we can get this piercing attack and start doing some damage on him. Uh, it just gives it a lot more option to fiddle with stuff. Now you can make it see people happier eating plants and sad eating meat, for example. Or. Or sad eating plants and, and happier eating other humans, even, I assume. Right. Uh, oh, I'm not sure it's worth keeping that though. Need to kill this before it gets too strong. Cool. No, we gotta kill these guys first. Uh, that will get us one more. Get rid of him first. Okay. Strategic retreat. Increase your shield by one and then gain one gold and two health for each shield that you have. Aspect of ninjutsu. Add one chain. Chains are good. Take a chain. Uh, we could also shield, but we've got so many shield bash, we've got 10 charges of it. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, then he died and did two damage to me. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to get that piercing damage. That's a demon with a one. Uh, that's bad, don't like Wither. I wonder if there's any way of defeating him if we don't get piercing damage. Because we're just not going to be able to hit him at all until... ...eventually he wakes up and then hits us for 10. I guess unless we can stun him. If we can build up a load of stun before he wakes up, we might be able to manage him. Uh, oh god, okay, these guys are a bit annoying. Let's keep that. Stun him, hit him, and buy this. Shield bash. Might be better. Oh god, a chest with one health. 
Okay, I've got another stun. A stun could be useful to manage him when he wakes up. Um, let's buy that. Lots of acolytes. Nobody's frozen me yet. I'm very disappointed. Keep that. Get rid of one. Get rid of two. Keep that. Get rid of three. It is daytime. So we'll keep that. We will stun him again so he doesn't wither us. Uh, and I think we'll get rid of him. The dice, excellent. Could grab this, put it on here, increase the chance of getting our stun. And it works with shield bash as well. Do uh, uh hang on there. About third dice. Yeah, let's still do that. Okay, keep that. It's lots of money again, which is nice. Kill him for one. Uh, two damage on him. Can't get the chest again. Oh, I can shield bash it. Let's do that. No piercing on here. Do we restock and try and get a piercing? Might be a good idea. This is a good one, especially with a chain on it, and given the fact we can put chains on dice faces with this. I think piercing, I should try and get there. No piercing, but we do have a splash stun, which is really nice. Let's take that and put that on there. Let's add a chain to that. And let's add a chain, chain on something on this dice as well, but Well, we put a chain on that. Chain on that to give us three shield. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We have six. Lots of cultists who are all going to try and wake him up. Charge non fang attacks on this die as if they were magic attacks, okay. We better reroll again there. Oh god, really? Uh not the best. Okay, let's take the chance to get rid of one. Another splash damage over here. Let's take that. Ooh, they're gonna wake him up. Okay, keep 
that. Two, two, and one. Mm, you know what? I think I might take this. Put it over the captures. Piercing here, but uh, I'm quite a way off being able to afford it. Yeah, let's take that. Uh, we do have shield bash. Yeah, let's do that so it doesn't wake him up. Archdemon, each non-piercing face used to directly attack this gets a random debuff. Oh! Wow. Okay. You really want you to go for piercing damage in this scenario. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, random debuff. Wither! Oh god. Disease! It's disease 2 again. Uh, deals damage to you equal to the disease amount when rolled. Okay. Okay. Keep that. Hit him. Do I have any white gems? I do have a white gem here. I need a white gem so I can meditate. Uh, well, I've got to keep that. Not the worst thing in the world to have to keep. Ugh. Final wave. of treasures, eater of souls, and master of rights. Life steal, gold steal, cursing attack, and a double attack. Who <laughs> boy. Well, we can meditate. So let's do that. Um... Oh my god. but to keep that. Uh, frozen is removed when this faces were placed. Oh, that's my stun though. I don't want to do that. Oh my god, these have got so much health. two to a random die face. Had to have my gold stolen as well.
Can I capture these? Could. When captured, gain enough health to reach your maximum, then gain 1 XP and score 5 points for each health gain this way. Gain gold equal to your health. Uh, gain 2 charges for each of your abilities. Okay, we're going to take this because it's got a chain on it. Uh, uh, I guess I'll put it over there. Oh, he's going to be hard to kill because of his lifesteal. So... He's cursing me. I keep that, that will save me from 4 damage. Just be 8, 9, 10. No. Six. That'll be eight rather than twelve damage. Yeah. This one. That's a nine health. Okay, white gem. It's good to get rid of some of those debuffs. Uh, yeah, let's keep that. Meditate. Two and shield bash kind of her. Him for one, although he's gonna heal it back. Okay, we can at least stun him with that. Let's do that. Stun and punch and meditate. Oh boy, this dude's about to wake up. And we still got no piercing. Let's risk a restock. Still no piercing. Okay, well, that gets rid of him. Can't hit him. We've got three turns. To do something about this guy. That is going to be really challenging. Guess we restock. Still no piercing. Or stun. Oh! We didn't have to defeat him! Oh, excellent. Okay, and we got five stars. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I thought we had like three more turns to kill, uh, and then he would wake up. Uh, but I guess if we, yeah, if we kill everybody else first, we don't need to fight him. Well, that's good to know. Okay. New relic unlocked, Dream Saber. You score the full points bonus and keep your streak when selecting non-score rewards. But your streak doesn't increase. Ah, okay. That's a shame. I guess... Hmm... Well, so it's it's 10 points 
per streak every time it's scored. So if you lose one streak early on, that's like 80 points over the course of the game, which is a lot. But I guess it might let you not take a... Might not let you... It might let you not take the score bonus later in the game, maybe? Hmm. Okay, well that was a cleric. Let's try the ninja. Um... Okay, having some ability to remove debuffs is going to be good for the end of that fight. Taking the Tome of Wisdom to give him more charges for Smoke Bomb and Shuriken may be good. Uh, we could also give him the Mana Tonic, gain a Wild Gem at the end of each wave. Thinking the stun is pretty good. Stun, lifesteal, and what additional attack? Oh, Moonstone Essence. Start with our third dice unlocked. Let's try Unk's Fist first. Harmless. Does not attack, adds no fear when escaping, and does not need to be killed to end the wave. So even when he wakes up, uh, we will end we will end it by just ending the wave. Okay. Now do I wanna take this? Not bad, I can put it over there. But let me get rid of really both of those gems. Sure. Shuriken's pretty good here as well because they're low enough health that. so he doesn't wake the other dude up. Double time, six charges reroll. You may keep dice an additional time before ending the turn. Uh, Master's Guidance, swap two target faces on your dice and or in the shop. At least one of the faces must have a chain symbol. Oh, yes. S. Just lets us pull chains out of the shop. That's awesome. Except there are none in the shop at the moment. Could do something like uh, that and that. Let us swap one of our chains for a reroll activation as well.
wither. Okay, it's a good time to roll the stun. I guess I've got uh, I've got smoke bomb as well. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking we, we can't swap the combo upgrade for a, a chain. If it was a combo upgrade with a chain, that would be great. Well, no, it would still swap the faces, wouldn't it? So, I don't think that would help us. Okay, so we'll keep that stun him. Um, save our things. two shields so actually he won't damage us but sure on the lore chest and enlightenment gain XP equal to your current level whenever you attack with a die this turn okay Okay, we've got a chain and a night face. So let's use Master's Guidance to swap that with that. Like this on a chain face. Um, just having a key on its own is not the best. But we can live with that. And again, I, I might not need to even kill the cosmic horror. Ah, uh, no, let's, let's do that, yeah. It's not a chain face, so the... Uh, oh, it changes... Changes that to piercing as well. Um, yeah, so the shield and the coin as well is going to be... Uh, it's going to get the benefit of the chain, which is good. that. Get rid of him. And I shuriken him. Uh, I'm doing alright. The ninja is usually the one that I do the best with. Because uh, his shurikens are great. And they're pretty good against these guys because they're low health as well. So... Maybe, maybe, don't want to jinx it, but uh, I've got this Master's Guidance, which is amazing. Uh, there's no, no chain attacks there. Uh, could trade a chain for... So Lyman again, gain XP equal to your current level whenever you attack with the dice this turn, okay. Um, no, let's 
Let's go again. Okay, great. Loads of money. Little ham. And... The ability to swap individual dice and a one face must have a chain symbol. I can't just like swap this for anything in the shop. Um, is it worth taking this and putting it over these two? I don't know, getting rid of a chain. Feels bad. Except I could use Master's Guidance to bring it back, though. Keys are less useful in this. Let's take... Oh, no, because... Ah, uh, wait. No, it doesn't go back into the shop. It just disappears. I can't bring it back. Let's wait till we get our next dice. Okay, I do have smoke bomb. Things get bad. However, we can stun him. Him for one. Let's try and get another chain. Chains. There is piercing, two piercing instead of a chain. Planning to not fight this guy. I have to fight this guy, that would probably be bad. So, no. I'm not sure I can him now to get rid of him. Nice. Cursing attack. Well, yeah, that's no, still good. That is still good. Uh, especially if we do something. Hmm. It's also seven points there. Hey, Snakebird Priestess, how you doing? Uh, is that a day combo gold cursing? Uh, day combo. 
bow gold cursing. Uh, this, this, th I mean, this is good. This is good. Um. <sighs> Look at where the best place to put it would be. I guess probably on, probably down on here. I'm just trying to work out whether I want to spend seven gold. Yeah, of course I do. Let's do that. Okay, I will keep that. Because that works pretty well. So we'll kill him, and we'll kill him. We'll do one on him, and then we'll shuriken him as well. Um... Ah, yes. Uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they, 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 I think they made them a, a little bit more visible. I think previously it was quite... Oh, I found it quite hard to see uh, what were the combo upgrade faces, and I would often end up missing them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if they changed it in response to my suggestion, but I did suggest it on the Discord. Yeah. I was... Um, yeah, how far how far have you got in this? I was um, I saw you on the on the Discord the other day when I was looking through it. Are you are you playing like Chaos Chaos Realm or something, or was that somebody else? It was somebody posting like insane screenshots of like dice with one face and like I don't know how many twelve attacks or something and doing like five thousand damage per hit? It's like what? How do you even get that high? It's crazy. But I guess I've not unlocked that stuff yet. It's some chaos realm. Normally runs. <laughs> okay. Or was somebody else? That did seem insane. Okay, this is good. This will get another face. Um. Yeah. Let's keep that. Get rid of him. We could shuriken the chest as well. Let's do that. What I really want is more chains, because I've got Master's Guidance. Uh, swap two target faces on your dice and or in the shop. At least one of the faces must have a chain symbol. Okay, wave seven. Okay, yeah, right, so these are the guys that are going to debuff me. Uh, each... okay. Alternative would be to shuriken them. Two piercing, two gold. But if I, if I get this and I use this to attack one of these guys, then that face is going to get debuffed multiple times. Oh, I don't know. Cover and light. Uh, let's keep that, do that. Did he wither it? Oh, I withered it. Did he wither it? Oh, it's a not, it's a piercing face. Ah, oh, they only do it to non-piercing faces. Okay, cool. Uh, we could just try shurikening him to death. That's probably not a bad idea. Uses up my charge as a shuriken. Okay, I want to 
the smoke bomb him. Health not super high. But I guess I should leave it for the next uh, for the next wave. Okay. It's pretty good. Wither. It says wither. Wait, what did it take off? Oh, was it a money symbol? Okay, that's fine. Lost the coin, okay. That's fine, take the coin. Just leave me with my uh, cursing attacks. Uh, still no more chains in the shop. Nice. Keep that. Rose it. Okay. I can unlock that though. And I can do one damage to him. Um, let's meditate to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of that face. Even though it would increase the chance of a chain. Well, this dice is terrible, but... Maybe, maybe I... What have I got? I've got one red and one white gem, two wild gems. I could afford to do another Master's Guide in the spots. Actually, I probably should, because I get a wild gem at the end of the turn. I should probably use that. Oh, except if I do Master's Guidance, it's probably going to use the white and the red anyway, isn't it? Mm. Not going to help me. Let's do a restock. Okay, chain splash attack. We will have that. Thank you very much. I'll get rid of that. Take that. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be fine for a five star in this if I get to the end. So I probably could buy another dice for this. Tempted to take that one. Yeah, let's do it. And we got another chain here, okay. So let's... Oh no, if I Master's Guidance that... Well, if I Master's Guidance that, I use both of my wild gems. I get one back. not. Okay. Not a bad start. Keep that. Do them. Should be two damage each. Okay, I need to understand. Have they changed this? So the splash attacks... Didn't I roll a double splash attack? Did I just roll a single splash attack? Oh god, I can't remember what I rolled now. Guess I only rolled a single splash attack. I just one that was a double on there. Okay. No, it must have been... Wait, what happened there? Hang on, it must have been a double because she went down to four. 
So where's the other splash attack gone? And also if I hit her for two, half of the splash damage should have hit those guys for two as well. I'm not going insane, am I? I think I'm going insane. Ah, oh, we'll smoke bomb them. I feel like one of my symbols was stolen. We got one shield, so I won't smoke pom them. But I will master's guidance that. Put it there. Oh, sure, I forgot he has a cursing attack. Reroll. Okay. that. So, let's hit him for three, him for three. Ooh, smoke bomb or meditate? Uh, I guess smoke bomb. Okay, I think we're fine with that. All that, kill that, and just him. We can take a bit more damage. Uh, and then we can kill him, and we're good. Okay, not too bad. 824, new class high score, new scenario high score. Yeah, usually the ninja I do best with. Um, so we'll see, I guess. Elementalist. Now, what do we want to do here? keep the same relics. Uh, so we've got Onk's Fist, add stun, lifesteal and one additional attack to a face on your first dice. Mana Tonic, start with a Wild Gem, gain a Wild Gem at the end of each wave. Uh, Angel's Touch, gain a white, I always forget this, gain a white gem if you have full health at the end of a wave. But start with Meditate, uh, remove all debuffs from two random debuff faces, gain two health, lose two fear. Term of Wisdom, all abilities have 50% more charges. Um, I mean, he's also good with the chest play and the lock picks. But I think I'll stick with that.
Generate two. Keep that. Get rid of him. freeze because then I then I have to wait for the freeze to come off before I can kill it. So yeah, let's not do that. That's an uber healing option. Let's just keep that and kill that. it worth getting the chest? Charge of fireball. Both my wild gems. Probably not. Uh, okay, this is better than this, so we'll take that. By a flourish, deal two piercing damage to target enemy, add one chain to a random dice face. Yes, please. Um. Ooh, damage cap two. Okay, that's fine. We can still get rid of him. Get rid of you. By a flourish, you. Get a chain on that. Okay, that's good. Keep. This is going to be really good. Need one more gold. Uh, oh, we can't icicle the chest. We don't have enough. Just add a chain to the same dice face. <sighs> okay, let's get rid of the chest and then we can take this. Bam, this first dice is becoming rather tasty. We do need some chains on this dice though to make the most of it. Time though. Uh, health situation could be better. Down to three health. I need two health. I need this. Two gold, I mean. Gives me two health. Gives me enough gems to fireball the demon. Keep. Fireball him. Do not want him to be any higher. Uh, we could. 
could icicle both of them. better to do that. Buy ourselves a little bit of time. So we can't hit him with any of these. They're all immune. Hit him, hit him. Oh, the health is not good. Health is not good. Need a splash attack here. Uh. Well, get rid of one of them. Could fire flourish two of them. Let's do that. stuns. I think we better do it again. Okay, let's take that. On my heel, okay. Tw heel for 12. Seems pretty good right about now. I'll uh, we'll hit you, and we'll hit you. Oh, with a no oh, of all the things. gems and then we want to kill them with our abilities. It's 
quickly take, get rid of that. We have a three attack and a better heal. Uh, let's put that there. Okay, I'll do that. Flourish and meditate, we can. All right. Final wave. We only have one stun. Could be a bit of a problem. Do you have an icicle? But Okay, well... Okay, so let's pay attention to what happens here. So splash attack, deal one damage for each axe symbol on this face. Half damage, round it up. Oh, oh, of course half a two is one. I don't know why I was thinking that's three. Okay, we'll keep that. We'll hit her. We'll fireball him. Uh, oh, he's gonna curse me there. Mm -hmm. Curse me twice. Okay, well let's keep that because then we can fireball him. Damage to her. Very roll. Try and get gold. What's my score? 583. I should be good. Get rid of her. And we're done. Another clear, another five stars. 729. Lowest score so far. That's fine. I'll take a five star clear. Not fussy. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. It, most of these levels, it feels like you have to have the streak if you want to get five stars. This one has felt like there's a bit more leeway with the five star score being 640. Um. Yeah, so far it's been going all right. This is usually where things start to go wrong. And now the cosmic horror is awake. Um, yeah, definitely have to stun the cosmic horror. Oh, it's definitely game, it's game over. Game over. Killed by the Eater of Souls and everybody else. Oh god, the odds are terrible either way. The odds are terrible either way. Dead! <laughs> Uh, best approach might have been to stun the cursing guy. Oh, that's true. Although, yeah, how much damage would I have taken from the other guy? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. 
this is pretty nice. I like the splash attack in this scenario. Uh, this is good. I'd live at one instead of two. <laughs> yeah, I think we were, I think we were probably going to lose that regardless. Uh, we could take this and put this over over here. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like it's better than that. Nice. Keep. Hit. Detonate. Open target chest and deal three damage to adjacent enemy or more charges for bloodlust. Yeah, I never run out of charges for bloodlust, so we'll take that note. Uh, and I can get both, which is nice. Uh, I'm good. That's a demon, relentless and wither. It's relentless again. Can't be stunned or frozen. Okay, well, I'll just kill you instead then. to check my health before I kill those guys. chest. Is it worth it? Uh, hmm. Giving up the possibility of bloodlust. Possibly not. for a splash damage. Got so many. Yeah, let's reroll. Okay. That. Do that. Uh, do that. Do that. Combo upgrade. Do I want the trap? I could take this. At least the odds of getting my stun which becomes important later on. Yeah. I 
do need that red gem though. Could detonate the chest. Bloodlust again, though. No. Okay, we'll keep that. Kill him, and now we'll detonate the chest. Get rid of him as well. Um, do we restock the shop? Stun sure would be nice. We got four gold. Let's wait. Okay. Keep. Do that. Bloodlust. Kill him. Him. Meditate. Keep that. Kill him. Meditate. Chain. It's got one chain there. Mm. Mm. Going into the final wave with no red gems. Maybe we pick this up and put it over here. That gives us another way of getting a red gem. Oh, that gives us a chain on the same dice as that chain. Can we, is there another dice we could put it on? Mm. We really need the keys in the final wave. Bit of a waste. Let's restock. Well, oh, I'd like to put this. Over, I'd like to put this over here, but can't afford to get rid of that red gem. Rust ritual, sacrifice captured enemy. Oh, okay, that's going to be no good. Uh, two cursing, piercing attack. Could put that over there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And we got a red gem. So if we keep that. And we do he's gonna heal back the cursing damage let's do that on there and then bloodlust and kill the guy who's gonna he buffers piercing again except we really need 
Well. We put three damage on him. With one shield. He's going to take five damage because of the curse and then heal back three. So net two damage. That's uh, not the worst thing in the world and then she dies after attacking us. Yeah, let's do that. We are almost five stars already, so we can afford to take a little time. Oh, in fact, we can die this wave anyway, because of the curse. Yep. Done. Seven seventy-eight. Still didn't beat the ninja. Next up is gonna be the necromancer. Um Okay, so do we want to change our relics? Let's try with what we've got. So we've got the Witch's Knife, replace a basic attack on your second die with a cursing attack. Whenever a cursed enemy dies, gain one health and curse an adjacent enemy for one. Monk's Fist adds Stun, Life, Steal and one additional attack to a face on your first dice. Soothing Collar, replace an attack on your second and fourth dice with a trap. Captured enemies have plus one attack. And Adventuring Kit, add two hearts to your first dice, one key to your second dice, one shield to your third and one wild gem to your fourth. And... This isn't no good. Some attacks. Not a great start. Okay, we could reap him. Charge non fang attacks. Okay, that's not bad. Yes, so when a cursed enemy dies, curse an adjacent enemy for one. Um, okay, if we captured him, that probably makes more sense. Keep that. Charge those attacks as well. Don't really want to capture the acolytes. Let's try and get a sword instead. Okay, I'll do. Uh, let's charge that and get a chest. Health on reroll is pretty good. Necromancer is weak on the heels. Uh, but I'm keen on this on the other dice face. Given we've got somebody captured now though, we could put that over there. attack. Piercing attack is good in this scenario as well. That will give us a three attack with the guys we've currently got captured.
put it over there. Cast all cast attack at enemy one when a cast enemy dies, gain health equal to its attack and capture it as a zombie in a random die or hex. All non chest non door enemies get plus one attack and cursed one. Quite a few gems now. It might make the hex and horn combo more useful. But I don't know. Yeah, let's take it. It's a demon with wither. Okay. Keep kill him. Can't charge that up there. Ah, a flaw in the plan. Okay, so we roll. Okay, good. Kill him. Does he change? And oh, no, after attacking with the fang, sacrifice the decline. Okay, that's pretty good though. He's got four attack. Uh, a double reap on there is good. Greetings. Greetings, Fahid. How are you doing? Surviving. Good. That's a good thing. A good thing. How's Tilly Witch doing? One more gold for this face. That would be... That would be pretty good. Um, sleeping, she's getting there too. Okay, good. Glad to hear it. Uh, yeah, all fine here. Same old, same old. Can't complain. Oh, that's not piercing, is it? No. Nope. OK, 
Okay, a stun and a shield on reroll. Uh, I quite like that. Let's take that, put that over there. Uh, we need red gems to hold. do as well. Keep. Uh, okay, if I reap him, I could charge up attacks on this dice, which would be good. Uh, oh, deal one damage to a random enemy when you score red gems on this dice. Oh no, but I can't reap him in there. Okay, so we'll stun him. <laughs> We'll hit him and rip him. Okay, that's a decent chunk of damage. Keep that. Get rid of him. Oh god, I gotta keep an eye on my health. I keep forgetting that when we kill those things, they do damage to me. charge that up. We'll stun all of them. Kill him, get rid of him, and get rid of one of those for good measure. Uh, attack for th three. Well, I get two separate attacks. Okay, good. Uh, actually, let's hit him with that, and then I'll heal. Seven. I kind of want to try and save my gems for the next wave so I can stun those guys. It is night, which is a shame. Um, oh, ah, this is where things get bad without piercing. I get debuffed and I didn't bring the thing that lets me get rid of debuffs. Maybe we should do a hex horn combo. We've got the gems for it now. If we re-roll for some more gems. Blue one. Okay. Sure, I'll take that. We are buffing their attack. Increase the amount of curse on him by hitting him with that. But uh, no, I've got, to, I've got to save that for next curse so I can stun him again. Let's just do that. Yep, that's fine. Carry on. We're going to try and curse them to death. Okay, red gems and blue gems. Nice. Keep. Haunt. Gems and blue gems. Keep. Haunt. Okay, final wave. 
Oh, we got rid of him as well. I didn't even realize we were killing him. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's so So we can keep that. Uh, she's gonna steal my gold. I've only got one charge of horn left. That's fine. Do that. Okay, now I need to do damage. Oh, the cultist perished. Damn it. It is day. That is good. So we'll keep that. I can also charge this. And we can get rid of him. And we can get rid of... Do when captured, gain two charges for each of your abilities. Should have captured her. Gain gold equal to your health. Maybe I can do that next time. Ah, uh, well, got a chance. Yes. Ho ho ho, 21 gold. Nice. Nice, nice. Nine hundred and forty seven. There we go, new scenario high score. All thanks to that gold at the end. Or by a long way as well. Cool. Good. Next time bender. Well that's a good start. Gem and the capture. It's maybe not a bad idea. Let's me charge, which would be good. Okay, keep that. Yes, aspect of speed add reroll activation. Do that now to that. Wild gems would be good, but I need the attack more. Really need a stun. Hey, Snakebird Priestess, how you doing? <laughs> it does mean I got the Necromancer clear. Yeah, first time. Uh, this time. And this is my second attempt with the Time Bender. Thank you. Yeah, obviously needed to take a break last night. Uh, I guess I'll keep that for the heal. Uh, God, uh, we're not in a very good way though. Not in a very good way. Need money. Don't have much in the way of money. Okay. Keep. Oh, God. <laughs> 
how are we going to get money? <laughs> oh, God, typical. Absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, look, one. Cost one. Let's keep that charge, that get rid of him. Come on, give me one gold. Come on, one gold. That'll do. God, he's getting awful strong now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Six attack. Oh. Attack on reroll. Uh, I've really got to keep that out there. like that. A two. Okay, this is more like it. Level up, okay. Reroll. God, I need some white gems for finesse. Did I lose my white? No, I got one white gem there. Uh, okay, keep that there, get him, then we can get this. Uh, so let's do that. turns till he wakes up then. God, how are we going to deal with the next wave? Yeah, although the keys are not as useful in this scenario because there are not that many chests. Um, unfortunately. Alchemy gain two of each basic gem. I don't have a plan for taking out the guardians that are coming next. Uh, I guess I suppose get lots of white gems. That would help. Give us a bit of money as well. Um, oh, be good on the first ice, but. Great place to put it. Well, it really would be good on the first ice. Could put it over here. Well, we could put it over there. We could put it over there. Actually, yeah, let's take that and put it there. Okay, three gems. Add reroll activation to target face. 
hier. But if I do that, I lose the gems I need for meditate. in that Worth using that or not? I I think not. Oh wait! I click a face to cancel the attack. Oh no, we did have another reroll. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. I'll do you petrified instead of frozen though. Sure. Uh, oh, do we use this? No, it's not. Let's just meditate. Get rid of those. Next turn. Yeah. We have the white gems to finesse, so let's bank on that. Oh shoot, should I use finesse first? Whoops. Okay, meditate one more time. <laughs> Six. Okay, keep. Kill. Uh, do we... Yeah, I think we better meditate and get rid of that. Okay, final wave. Oh, six attack on a reroll. Love it. Roll, get rid of you. Uh, let's keep re rolling. Keep re rolling. Uh, finesse, re roll again. Re roll. Um, Don't have much gold for it to steal. Let's focus on the one. Uh, let's finesse again. I uh, got loads of charges left. Let's finesse again. stun you as well. We'll finesse again. We'll finesse again. Oh, 
six. Uh, that's okay, so we can re-roll. Kill you. One damage on you. And we'll re-roll you, kill you. And try and get a bit of money, I guess. Money's the only thing that's going to give us more points, so we might as well re-roll and try and get that one gold that we've got. Ah, uh, come on, give me some money. Give me ten more points. There we go. Uh, done. Seven forty-seven. Five stars, can't complain about that, right? Not quite as good as the 947 that I got with the uh, Necromancer. I managed to capture the uh, the enemy that does gold steal at the end. Uh, and you, get, you gain gold equal to your health when you do that. Uh, so that's how I managed to get that one so high. Okay, Monk. Make it easy to play some of our abilities. Okay, that's a good start. Do that. Pierce is good. Do that. Okay, keep. Rage heal, gain two health and reroll, and gain two health for each attack symbol rolled, or two charges for yin. Uh, let's take the charges for yin actually. Keep. Kill. It's day. It's night, okay. So it probably makes sense to use one of those now. Do that, get rid of him, get him. to heal. Take uh, a charge for... okay. Let's do that. Take a chest. A red and a blue together. Okay, that's good. Got the wild for the white gems, that's alright. And let This day, I will keep that, get rid of him, another pierce here, and four heal, so we'll take that. It is 
day. Keep that, use combo strikes so I can use that twice. Get rid of him. Uh, this has got chains on it. But nothing else does. Might make the extra attack here better. Put it over there. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now is where I need my pierce. One pierce. Okay. One fang attacks are stunning. Only do combo strikes or pressure points. Uh, and actually, combo strikes is good because it puts the debuffs on the same face. So we'll keep that combo strikes. That's not gonna get debuffed. Oh, although maybe we do need to stun them. Debuffed does double damage now. And that, they've already been debuffed, so more is not the end of the world. But we want a white gem next go. White gem. Come on. Uh, okay, well, kill him. We can buy this face. I just kept that face, so that should be going away, I think. Uh, so let's take that, put it over there. Let me see if I hit him with that. He's going to put some debuff on it. So let's not do that. If I can get a red gem, 
I'm looking for a red gem or a piercing damage. Oh, I'd kept that. Okay, piercing damage works. Okay. Wave eight. So pressure points, this turn your non-fang attacks are stunning and stunned enemies take double damage from non-fang attacks. Uh, and if we keep that we can do that and combo strikes. So let's do that. Combo strikes pressure points. So this will stun, so we can stun him, and we can stun uh, her, and then this we can only use once, but it does double damage. And she's still stunned, which is good. Uh, we can do combo strikes again. Let's do that. Keep that. Kill him. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one more damage on her. Still stunned. Two, three, four. She's dead. Seven fifty seven. All right. Nice. Huh, Nine forty seven, seven forty seven, and seven fifty seven. Lots of seven, seven fifty seven there as well. Oh, same score as with the cleric. Uh. Okay. All right. Well, one more. Demonologist. What are we gonna do with her? Let's. Uh, I think night is good for her, right? So let's take the owl's quill. Try that. his day, sadly. Do we just try and capture him? Eighty percent chance of success. Oh, hundred percent. Sure. on this dice. Okay, that's pretty nice. And let's do that. And kill her. Okay. Let's attack in for three. Sure. That will let us kill him. Capture a copy of target enemy in a random empty dice. If there are no empty dice, a random capture is replaced. Or three charges for meditate. Mm, well, we don't have any white gems at the moment. We should probably try and get some. If we do get any, that's not going to be any good, so let's take clone. A 
Let's pet him. It is night. Could pet again. God, this is getting really quite powerful. I don't want to overwrite that blue gem. So... Keep that attack hurt. It is night. Um, don't really want to capture the Let's re roll. Hmm. Re roll. Like we might as well use pet early to buff up this dice face. But hang on, what have we got here? A stun, an attack, and a chain. that capture yeah we're gonna to want to replace that could get that put it over there really need the key extra gold the shield is useful I guess gives us some more XP piercing damage would be better Again, it's a pretty nice attack there. Today. Okay, well, let's still get rid of him. Uh, hmm. Need a bit of health. He needs some health. That will kill the demon. Target enemy in a random empty dice. Let's me charge. Uh, it's just a copy though. Yeah. Okay, we'll follow with that. Four health though. Ooh. I 
could end up dying if that doesn't come off. I fail to capture. Well, no, I can do specimen hunt, so I'll guarantee success. Okay, maybe I should do that then. Oh, I'll be down to two health though. Keep. Specimen hunt. Kill. Now I really need the health. Gotta keep. Oh, is this gonna be good enough? Oh dear, it might not be. Uh, I can meditate to gain a little bit of health. I can kill one of them. Six damage. Uh. Uh. I have to kill all of these or get some health back somehow. Okay, there's some health. That's not... Oh, yes, I can just do it. Get rid of him, get rid of him. Got some health that way as well. Okay, re-roll for health. Re-roll for health. Keep. Okay. Keep. Charge. Kill. That worked pretty well. Um, I'll capture double all gold you gain. You can't gain health. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. I guess... I guess let's buff that. Why did that not... get a random debuff? Or maybe it did. Or did we just lose a... I think, did we just lose a symbol maybe? Maybe we did. We roll for health and big attack. Cool. Keep... Charge, destroy, next turn, okay, uh, how are we doing, we're doing alright, so we'll keep that, charge that, get rid of him, capture a copy of target enemy, okay, so we could, Capture a copy of her, and that will then gain us a lot of gold. 23 gold. That uses a wild and a blue, leaving me a blue and a white. That's fine. 26 gold. Just hit her. I mean, we've got so much gold. We've got easily got enough gold to get five stars. Unless I'm going for an uber high score, I might as well buy something like this. Oh, I don't have any red gems anymore, so I can't charge up my attacks. Oops. 
That gives reroll activation to something, though. Mm. The side is we've got to put a trap on the other side. Let's let's take this double chain and put that over there. And we got an extra dice as well. Probably more than sufficient. Keep, because that gives me the red gem and then I can... Oh, why is that only four? Oh, because it's this symbol, not that symbol. Yeah, right. Um, mm, I could kill her, but I'd like to... I'd like to do clone on her one more time. So instead... Oh god, I'll lay heels for that back. Well. Uh... Okay, keep that. damage on her and then try and capture her. Fail. Try again. Yes. So 12 more gold that time. Uh, actually what I should have done is I should have captured him first and that would have put me, that would have given me a load of points and pushed me up to full health and then I could have captured her. Anyway. We should be good. Uh, and if I keep that and I do one damage on him with that and then try and capture him with that oh hang on we can does it help to do it twice capture a copy of the target enemy in a random empty dice ah uh, no because I'll only gain it's for health gained okay so I guess we'll just do that. Which presumably got us some points, did it? It looked like it did. Anyway, I think we're good. Yes. 985 and a new scenario high score. All right. Just beating the Necromancer on 947. Cool. All right, well, that was the Frozen Horror, five stars with all characters. Next time, we'll be heading off to Moonwood to face whatever nasties await us there. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for your comments. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDA Limey signing out. Bye for now.